Hi, this is Chris Massiello from VitaminCM.com, and today I'm going to show you how to link information between Excel worksheets and Excel workbooks. So I have a couple of Excel spreadsheets open here. If I switch to the folder, I have th three spreadsheets. One of them is uh, East Coast Sales, the other is West Coast Sales, and then the other is Consolidated Sales. And I'm going to show you how to link information between all these different sheets. So I'm going to go to the one called East Coast Sales right now. And I have three worksheets in here. I have a worksheet that tracks products. I have a worksheet that tracks services. And then I have a worksheet that tracks totals, so the total sales from both. What I want to be able to do is get the data combined from my products tab and my services tab up into this totals tab. So I'm going to go into the products row for Sunday and I'll go up here and hit equals. Then I'll click to the products tab and I'll get the total sales from Sunday. And just hit the enter key and it will populate in. I also have it totaling down. So I want to get the services totals for Sunday also. So I'll hit equals. Then I'll go to the services tab and click the totals for Sunday. Hit enter and there it is. It totals up for the day. Now I want to do that for all of the rest of the days. So I will just go to the little uh, square in the corner of that cell and drag it out for the rest of the week and it will populate. I'll do the same with services. I'll click on the little black square in the bottom, drag it out for the rest of the week, and it will populate. I need to resize my cell so you can see all the number. So you see I've linked data between tabs inside the same workbook, so from worksheets to workbooks. What I want to do now is switch over to my West Coast sales spreadsheet, and you and you can see if you go to the top tab, the totals tab, that I've already done this for the products and services. Now, if I went back, you could see this number is $36,959. If I went back to the services tab and changed the number, and then go back here, you'll see it went from the uh, 36,000 to 41,000. So it's all dynamically linked, updates anywhere, in the underlying cells will roll up into the uh, linked cells. So that's uh, a way that you can link data inside the same file or that from one worksheet to another inside the same workbook. But if I switch windows again to this consolidated sales workbook, what I want to do now is combine data out of those other two workbooks into this one. And it works pretty similar. So you have to have all the files open that you want to link. So I have the East Coast and the West Coast open. So I'll hit the Equal button again. Then I'll switch over to the East Coast Sales Workbook, grab my totals, and hit Enter. And it pulls it in. I want to do the same for the West Coast Sales. So I'll hit Equal, switch to West Coast Sales, grab the totals, and hit Enter and it pulls it up. And you can see it totals up to 75,727. So if I go back to either of these workbooks and change any of the underlying data, so I'll add uh, $5,000 to this, then I'll switch back to the consolidated and it went from 75,000 to $80,000. So it's all linked up. So I've linked data from one worksheet to another worksheet in the same workbook. Then I've pulled that summarized data out of one workbook into a cell in another workbook and I'm calculating it against data pulled out of uh, yet a third workbook to add against each other. And if I copied these cells out it would populate the rest and the formulas would give me totals for the whole week. So that's a nice way to use the linking feature in Microsoft Excel to pull data from certain places in spreadsheets to other places and even to other files.